pier on Mustang Island in the Port Aransas area. It turns out the bollards, those wooden posts that line part of the beach there, have been what they call yarn bombed. Our Bill Churchwell explains. There is a princess, a cactus, even a bumblebee. It's delightful. It makes you want to laugh. And yes, there's a Yoda, too. I really like it. It's kind of cool. It's kind of different. The bollards near Horace Caldwell Pier are ready for winter, wrapped by these colorful critters that seemingly popped up with the start of the new year. Locals use the term yarn bombed. Oh, I think those the little Hawaiian snow girl is kind of fun. The bollard family, as they're known, well, they're turning plenty of heads in what has become a tourist attraction in itself. The person behind the knitted covers. I thought perfect for poor day. Is Port Aransas resident Diana Vondra. The more complicated ones take oh, maybe three or four days. She came up with the idea after seeing something similar during a trip to France. I really, really love Port Aransas and I love whimsical art and it just seemed like this is a way to give back to this community. We've struggled through so many things in the last few years. After getting permission for the project, Vondra made 80 of them. That was four years ago, and now? This year we have 150. Each with its own characteristics that make them stand out. You could say these ducks are all in a row, lining about a quarter mile of the beach. And they are stapled on here, so they don't just fly away. Vondra says it's all about sparking smiles. I just want to bring a little happiness and joy, and on a day like this. Bill Churchwell, 3 News. That's pretty cool. I'll have to make a trip out there. See the baby Yoda one. Yeah.